Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, a fire threatens early church's publishing work. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History, notable for firsts in Adventist history in China. But first, on February 10, 1891, a fire originating in the boiler room of the Review and Herald Publishing Association's plant in Battle Creek did $2,100 worth of damage. This was the first near disaster ever to threaten the press, but work was resumed the same day. However, later fires at Battle Creek were to be more destructive, finally impelling Adventists to move out of the small Michigan city. On February 13, in 1915, at Elmshaven near St. Helena, California, the 88-year-old Ellen White fell and broke her hip. This eventually brought on her final illness. In 1903, two significant dates in this week. On February 14, the first Seventh-day Adventist baptism in China took place at Xinjiang Zhao. The next day, February 15, the first Adventist local church in China met for the first time with eight members. Also on February 15, but 121 years earlier in 1782, William Miller, evangelist of the Second Advent, was born in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And this whole week and beyond in Adventist history, February 10 through 20 in 1912, the first general meeting of Adventist workers in China took place. It was held in Shanghai, with W. W. Prescott making the long trip from the U.S. as guest speaker. That was This Week in Adventist History.